Okay guys, we're replacing these RV captain's chairs in this Class A motorhome. These things are all peeling up. I put these really ghetto looking covers on it and it just, it still doesn't look very good. So I ordered a new, new seats. And so now I'm just taking out the old seats. The old seats come out really easily. You see the base here. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. This, the base of this, there's just four existing screws right on the bottom here. Just take that off with a, it's a half inch socket and the seat just pulled off of it. So now I'm just taking the driver's seat off just getting those same four bolts. The driver's side is powered, so it has power uh, function to it back and forth. And that will stay on the base, so really just taking the seat off and the power functions will stay on the, on the base of this. I have the driver's seat off. The driver's seat, the existing seat, is powered. It has this electrical motor. It moves it up, down, back, forth, so it's nice that it has a power feature. The new seat, However, just has a manual release here back and forth. There's no height, uh, there's no adjustments on that. So what, I, what I'm gonna do here is I just I disconnected the harness so that way I can take the seat off. Here's my, here's my seat controller here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off, there's four bolts that are, that's holding this whole base mounting mechanism. One there, one in each corner. I'm gonna take those off, pull off this electrical base, and I'm gonna swap it onto here. There's even cutouts, you know, for other mounting options here, and I'm, I'm assuming that's what the, these holes are for, so that I can mount a different base on there. So I'm going to mount off the electrical base, put it on there, and then be able to have all those powers, those power features on this new chair. So to get the wiring harness off of the chair, I actually had to cut the wire that goes down to the the battery or the fuse block. It, it looked like it had been done before because there were some just some butt connectors here. So I'm going to put a quick connect spade connector on there so that way if it ever has to be done again, it'll be uh, easy just to slip off. Those right there, I just have to cut a little outlet. So if you're not swapping over the electrical base, this is a lot easier. This thing just fit right in. One washer. So the armrests don't come pre-installed. One of them does. There's a second one that's not. And I measured on the one that's already installed, 22 and a half inches down from the top is the middle and the stitching. So it's right it'd be about right there. About right there. So what you, what you do is just make a little X. Okay, then you have to reach in and you have to kind of pull away at the foam. Actually kind of push through till you get into the, there's a metal hole inside there. And then there's also in, in the back here, see how this goes in? There's the hole here and then there's a notch. There's a, the notches in the back here. So I need to cut a little more of this out of the way. So this notch can, you can see the hole there and then the notch is kind of down, slanted down like that. So when I put it in, I'll put it in backwards, push it in all the way and then be able to turn it around. So when I go install it, I'm going to have the slot, which is facing that way, line up. Okay, but right, when it gets to the right spot, you can, fit, you can, if you're pushing against it, it'll go in. We got it like that. So then it stops there and then it can come down. So that's how you install the armrest, not too bad. All right, the seats are installed. They turned out really good. I really like the material of these. This is the, so I got these from a, a company called shop4seats.com. Uh, the color, this is the macadamia and then the darker is called the desert taupe color. This was like kind of a ready to ship version. I didn't really custom order it. It's just one they had ready to go. I really like, I think it looks pretty good in here with the lights and tans that we have. So turned out nice. There's this little pump on the side. This is how you inflate the lumbar support. And you can release it right here. Extremely comfortable, a lot more padding, a lot softer, more feels like more support than the older chairs. The material seems far superior. I mean, I don't see this stuff peeling off. This just seems like a really high durable leather material. It also cleans up really well, stains, dirt, uh, wipes off really well, so it seems like it has a really nice protective coating on it. 
and this side here, the passenger side, was a lot easier to install than the driver's side because this just didn't, this had this the manual base, so this can move back and forth manually with the slider bar. So the slider bar is just under here. Just pull the, pull this lever right here, and then it moves forward. This one has the electrical base. That took a little more work because I had to disconnect the power, find new mounting holes for it, but it worked out really well, and now I still have my power functions on this. So I still reuse, I reuse the bases on it, which turned out really good and really happy with these. We've even taken a couple trips in these since we've put them in and uh, really, really, really happy with them. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.